Hello friends, it's me, and today, Mr. Beast. Let's check out fanboy opinions on Black Ops 3. From Mr. Beast, together, let's go. Yes, this video is about Black Ops 3, but I swear, I'm not just doing this for views and, you know, so I can put a misleading title and try to trick my way to fame. I just finished... Mm. Yeah. Watching the Black Ops 3 reveal or um, games count, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I just watched, but whatever went on earlier today, just finished watching about an hour of it, not all of it, and I'll, I gotta say, I really enjoyed what I was watching. I guess I should go ahead and get this out of the way, yes, I am a Call of Duty fanboy. Yes, they can make a kill streak where pigs run across the map and stampede over anyone, and I'd be super hyped for it. Yes, I am biased, I am a Call of Duty fanboy at heart. <laughs> I guess I should go ahead and get that out of the way. So if you've ever played League of Legends, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Black Ops 3 has implemented a ban and protecting phase before the game. So if there's something you feel is overpowered or something you really don't like, you can ban it before the game starts and no one in the game will be able to use it. You but having said that, please do recognize that this video came out like 10 years ago, nearly a decade ago. Yeah. Banned kill streaks, um, equipment, like anything, weapons, everything is available to be banned, and every player can either ban a weapon or protect a weapon. And if you protect it, then someone else can't ban it. And I don't know, that's just that's really cool to me. So if there's something you really don't like about the game, you can just ban it before the game. I thought that was really cool. There are also these special streaks that only one person per team can have a certain streak. So like uh, one of them was like this pistol, the really overpowered pistol. Like in the competitive gameplay I was watching, I mean every time they pulled out this pistol, they get at least four or five kills because it's a one-shot kill pistol and it's actually really accurate. But like you have to build your way up to it. You have to get a lot of kills and then once you pull out the pistol you only get it till you die and there's just like um what's the other one the other streak is where you run really fast someone can have that another one is where you like jump down with like those spikes if you saw the trailer so um the specialist streaks look really cool and i like how that's gonna like you know make the game different because these specialist streaks are pretty much gonna dictate who wins or loses the game and you're only gonna get them two or three times per game so you have to be really wise in how you use them like that really overpowered pistol if you just pull it out randomly and then someone kills you you know you wasted a really good opportunity instead of you know pulling it out you clearing the entire enemy team off the hill and then using it to hold them back for a couple of seconds you know you took over the hill and you let your team get set up because I mean that pistol is overpowered you use it at the right time no one's gonna be able to kill you and it's just things like that it's gonna determine how the game flows and ultimately who wins it and I really like that so those special streaks are gonna be something we're not really used to because you get those on top of your three kill streaks so just that right there is really just gonna add another like element of thought for the game and only one player can have a certain specialist streak so it's gonna be really interesting to me i think that's gonna make the game a lot more fun ultimately i think the game's good i know that's what everyone says every year but just watching this it looks way better than ghost in advanced warfare we can all agree it's better than ghost in advanced warfare we can all agree on that and I think it's going to bring us back together. I think during this game, it's going to be like it used to be in the olden days where you're actually going to have your friends online. You're going to want to play because your friends are playing and you guys can all just get together and hang out. I think it's really going to strengthen the COD community. And as for YouTube, I think, I mean, it's just going to explode. Call of Duty on YouTube during Black Ops 3. People are actually going to enjoy the game. There's going to be so much hype. It's going to be really interesting. There's going to be so many new YouTubers popping. I ran out of footage. Please enjoy these dancing dolphins. <laughs> up left and right. You know, maybe I'll be have one of them i don't know because i don't really do cod you know specific videos i might start doing them i don't know it depends how much i'm really enjoying the game but youtube cod just it's all gonna change in november obviously and i can't wait it's gonna be ridiculous so i'm just gonna in you know in the video there not go on too much longer that's pretty much that Aww. So rock, paper, scissors, which one do you choose? I choose paper. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this live stream, uh, this video together with me. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Thank you.